Bugs, welcome to Let's Fix Computers. Uh, today I'm going to tell you about a funny little fault on the MacBook Pro that can develop where it does not detect any hard drives at all. Um, this can happen in the event of um, uncertain failures, sometimes it happens out of the blue. In this particular instant, instance, this MacBook Pro has been dropped and after being dropped, the hard drive is completely gone. Uh, oh, the screen's kind of washing out on camera at the moment here, but there is no hard drive detected. Now, I've removed the hard drive and performed diagnostics on it from another computer. Nothing wrong with it at all. The hard drive is absolutely fine, but the laptop will not detect it at all. So, what has happened here is the drive cable, the ribbon cable that connects to the hard drive has failed. So, I'm going to show you how to replace that. What we do, turn the laptop off, turn it over, take out the screws on the bottom with a 00 Phillips screwdriver and that will get you to here. Okay, so this is the part we're interested in here, this ribbon cable. It goes along here under the hard drive and it connects to the SATA connector here and it also connects to the front light and IR sensor here. So what we've got to do firstly is remove the hard drive by taking out these two screws here. and removing the locking bar. Then the hard drive will lift out like so. Like that, there's our hard drive out. So here's the cable we've got to remove. Now we need to remove these two screws here and here. And we also need to remove these two screws here and here. Right, now pluck out this drive just with your fingernail, like that. This cable, sorry. And then you should be able to just simply peel this off of the back. And then this will just pull out with a little bit of jiggery pokery, like so. And there's the full assembly. Now, you can buy these cables on eBay. The current going rate is about £15. Um, there are two variations of it. This one has a wide connector, a wide ribbon cable, sorry. The other variation looks like this. And as you can see, it's got a much thinner ribbon on it. So thin ribbon, wide ribbon. Although the wiring on them is exactly the same, the two are not compatible because the length of the ribbon is different. This one is a shorter length, then thin one has a longer reach on it. But as a result, you can't fit them to each other because this one won't reach and the other one will have too much slack and it ends up folding over itself and breaking. So find a replacement one on, on eBay. Now, when you buy it, it will not come with this bar. What you'll get is all the way up to and including this little circuit board here. Now, to remove it, what we need to do is undo this tiny little connector here just by flicking up the locking bar and disconnecting that little ribbon. That, un that disconnects the uh, status light and then you'll be able to simply peel this off from the hard drive bar just get some kind of tool underneath it it's got a sort of firm um, solid backing on it let me just use a prime tool here Whoa, there we go and as you can see we're left with that tiny little circuit board and an empty bar so when you buy a replacement one it will come as a bare piece of wire like this and it will probably have some backing tape on it, which you can then stick back onto the bar, like so. Reconnect that little ribbon into the locking connector there, and then refit it in exactly the reverse order that you took it out. And that should fix your hard drive. So, got a hard drive that's not appearing? Try changing out that cable, see where that gets you. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye for now.